My name is Drew and welcome to uh, my new class format that we're going to teach here called Strength and Sculpt. Um, so new format, equipment will be very similar to what you're used to. I do plan on using some mini bands uh, within this class. If you don't have mini bands available, that's totally fine. Uh, there's definitely a way to work around and work these same movements uh, without the mini band. I need to make sure I pin myself here or spotlight. All right, and then we should be good to go ahead, get ourselves warmed up and get into our program today. Need to make sure that I fit in here, all right? All right, looks good, should be good to go. All right, so put the mini band aside right now. First thing that we're gonna do, warming up our upper body, hands out, one palm up, one palm down. I want you just rotating through your wrists and your shoulders. Getting some blood flowing into our upper back. So with this class in this new format that I'm teaching, we're gonna focus on a lot of strength, fundamental moves, those being our deadlift, squat, pushing and pulling on the upper body. Now palms face forward, wrap your arms around yourself, open up by pinching your shoulder blades. You could get into a little bit of a controlled swing with this. As we focus on those four core moves that I described, I'll be working in some secondary movements, some cardio, some mobility. Good stop on that. Next one that we're going to do is going to be a rotation for our mid back. Think about your hips pointing forward the entire time. Bring your hands up towards your chin. You're going to rotate to your right. I want your head, your chin and head to follow your hands. When you can't rotate anymore, take your right hand to the back. Look at it with your eyes, hold it. Feel a big stretch. Now bring those hands together. Let's rotate back to the middle and now to the left. Let's stay forward, rotate left. Hand back, reaching, looking, holding. Hands together, one more time on each side. Really good stretch here, rotate, reach. Reset and to the left, rotate. Reach. And good. Now we're going to go ahead and I'm going to show with the mini band. If you don't have a mini band available, we'll be fine. You can still do this. You just won't have quite as much resistance if you do have one. So let's run my ankles. Quarter squat, tap it out to your right. So today's format will also be set up in blocks of four. We'll focus on four moves at a time. I will time you, so no need to count reps. Now switch sides over to the left side. One thing I do wanna emphasize in this class is if you have multiple weights available, that when you can, try to increase the weight. Good, you can stop there. You can go ahead and come out. Let's go down onto the ground. But first, just get in a really good high plank position. Hands under shoulders. Brace core, glutes, abs, squeezing. Now let's just work some slow mountain climbers. Draw the knee in and switch. Draw the knee in and switch. Keep it working. And good, stop there. You're either going to go back up on your toes and do push-ups or drop on your knees and do push-ups. Ready? And let's start. And stop. Go ahead and stand up. We're gonna just continue to warm up a little bit more with a little bit more weight now on the lower body. So you can grab your lightest dumbbell. I'm gonna hold it up, goblet hold, step over to your right, and then squat. 
just keep that pattern going. And now go ahead and switch. Stop over your left and squat. Feel that heart rate starting to increase, blood flow to the whole body increasing. Good, stop there. Grab another dumbbell. This should be still to be a lighter pair. We're gonna work our deadlifts or our hinging motion. Dumbbells by your thighs, push the hips back, chest and head lowering down, stretch out the hamstrings, stand up and squeeze your glutes, right? Let's go ahead and get into a rhythm with these deadlifts. Couple more. And stop. All right. So we'll go ahead and get into our first block where we're going to have two upper body and then two lower body moves. Um, we'll go right into our first move, which we already warmed up with, which was push ups. These push ups need to be nice, slow, and controlled. So I don't want you to be rushing them at all. So you're going to get good push up form either on your knees or on your toes. But we have 30 seconds of push ups. Go ahead and get in place in three, two, one, start. If you fatigue before 30 seconds, hold a high plank or a low plank, but do not just give up. Keep on working. Three, two, one, good. Now I want to use lighter dumbbells as we're going to do a dumbbell skull crusher, an option to do this out of a dead bug position. So let me show with the dead bug. You don't need a dead bug if you ignore that part. I'm going to tilt my hips, flatten my back, lift my legs, lift my arms, and skull crusher. Ready, go. Feel the back of the arm working here. Especially coming off those push ups. Five seconds. Three, two, one. Good. And now we can go ahead and stand up. There's our two upper body in this block, our two lower body. Our first one just starts with some cardio doing speed skaters. With speed skaters, we have the option to step and tap the rear foot or jumping and landing on one leg. All right, your choice, 30 seconds. Ready, go. Doesn't have to be a crazy pace right now. Our body is in our first round, so it's still getting somewhat warmed up. Three, two, one, good. Heart rate's up, this is gonna make it challenging going to our next lower body. We're going to do a single leg, a reverse lunge out of a uh, single side rack position hold here. I know I just said a lot, let me break it down. Put the dumbbell up at your right shoulder, step back with your left leg, just like so. And I will tell you when to switch. Ready and go. Foot sides, bring it up to your left shoulder, step back with your right leg.
Almost there. And stop. All right, that is our first block. Not going to take a lot, a long break right now as we got through that pretty quick. When we go through the second round, I will uh, suggest a couple areas where you can progress your weight if you have those options. We're starting with the push up. Obviously, no progression here. We're not putting weight on our back. So, what I need from you is just another 30 seconds, super engaged and controlled push ups. Get ready and begin. Pass halfway. A couple more strong ones. Come on, stay with it. And stop. All right, dumbbell skull crushers. Depending on what weight you use, you may have some room to increase the weight. But if you do, right now is it going to be a time to do that? Dead bug position optional. Ready? Go. Focus on the back of the arms. Lock the shoulders in place. Don't let them swing. Three, two, one. Have that deep burn in the triceps. Let's stand up. All right, and now we can really go after these feet together a little bit more. Round number two, fully warmed up. 30 seconds. Go. Really push with that hip. Ten seconds to go. Three, two, one. Good. Stopping there. Let's go ahead and increase the weight on that reverse lunge if you can. Up at the right shoulder, step back with the left leg, and start, side one. You can go ahead and switch up at the left shoulder, step back with the right leg. Keep with it. Three, two, one. Good. Fall down. Now go ahead and take a quick break. And then we're going to go into our next block. First block, focus on both two upper, two lower. Push ups are kind of our fundamental move. And our next move, or our next block, and our fundamental focus is going to be on deadlifts. All right, now, a challenge with deadlifts is it's a very strong move. Many times you may not have the correct amount of weight to really challenge yourself properly with it. So it'll be the same thing that we did warming up. If you feel like just the weight you have isn't enough to do a standard two leg deadlift, then you can take your weight and you can work on a single leg deadlift with one or two dumbbells. All right, so you have the choice. I'm gonna show a standard the whole time because my preference is that we're doing a standard deadlift with a heavier amount of weight. But single leg is an option. All right, my weight is down in front of me. This will be 40 seconds. I'll cue halfway through single leggers. You can switch. Ready? And let's go. Deadlift. 
hips back, chest down, head down, squeeze the glutes as you push through. Keep the weight near your body. Which legs if you're doing a single leg? Almost there. Three, two, one. Good. We're gonna go from using that really heavy weight into a much lighter weight down on the ground. In fact, I gotta grab my much lighter weight. I don't have to go over here. All right. So really probably like about five, eight pounds. You can get away with 10 if that's what you have. We're gonna focus on bracing the core, core hold here, option to lift the feet off the ground if you want to. And then we'll take our arm out, not here, not all the way in front, but right in the middle and raise and lower. Just like so, ready, go. Tell you when to switch. And switch over to the other side. Go right into it. Brace the core. Three, two, one. Good. All right. So we're going to go ahead and just flip over here. And now, a quick burst of cardio. We did slow mountain climbers and warm up. Now we're just doing our traditional mountain climbers, crawl the knee in. Which switches, 30 seconds. Ready, go. Still focus on that core though. Don't forget about that plank position that you're in. Keep on going, 10 seconds. Three, two, one. Good. Go ahead and stand up and grab that mini band if you have a mini band to use. And if you don't, you're going to be just fine here. Step into it around your ankles. All right. And what we're doing here a three way band tap. So, a quarter squat position. We're going to step forward diagonally, back in, sideways. Back in, reverse diagonally, back in. One side, I'll tell you when to switch. Ready, go. Get the full range of motion on that band. Make sure you're hitting each angle that I described. All right, let's switch sides. Patient with it, but strong here too. Three, two, one. Good. Stop. Step out of the band. Put it down. And then let's get ready to go ahead and do it again. Block number two of this deadlift, core hold, mountain climbers, and then our band taps. All right, we should be feeling those hips to be really active after those band taps. Carry over to the deadlifts. And if you have the weight to increase, this is definitely one that you should be able to increase. Single leg version still applies. 40 seconds. Ready, go. Ten seconds. Sorry, single leggers, you can switch. If you're doing single leg, definitely switch. Give you some extra reps there on that first side. Three, two, one. 
Good. Down to the ground. Four hold radius. Brace the core, arm in position, and begin. Switch, right over to the other side. Almost there. Three, two, one. Flip over. Get ready for the mountain climbers. And even quicker this time. Ready? Go. Transitions are much quicker this round. Keep it up. Past halfway. 10 seconds. Sprint. Three, two, one. Stop, stand up. And my mini band three way taps. Again, no mini band, no problem. You're just doing the same exact thing. You can still focus on the support leg and reaching with the hip. All right, around my ankles. Set, go. Yeah, like where we're at right now, I should be feeling really good. Stop on side one, side two, ready? Stay with it. Three, two. One, stop, stop out of there, take a quick break. All right, taking a quick break right here. We've gotten two rounds in of each of those first blocks. What I'm going to introduce right now, I didn't talk about this at the beginning, but a format called Every Minute on the Minute, or an EMOM. We are going to do a five-minute EMOM. Very important about this is that we're all going to work at different paces. What I'm going to do is to coach you through it the best I can to give you different rep ranges that you're going to be doing for each exercise. And then hopefully with those adjustments that you make for your pace, you will fit into the format. Okay, because what an EMOM is is we're gonna have three moves. We're gonna do those three moves as fast as we can in one minute. That's one round. If you end that round at 40 seconds, then you have a 20 second break. If you end that round at 50 seconds, then you only have a 10 second break. The goal is to always be trying to complete probably between 35 and 45 seconds with it, okay? So it'll make more sense as we go into the format. And so what you need for this, is a dumbbell or a kettlebell that you can swing, and then a dumbbell, a pair of dumbbells that you could do a, a bicep hammer curl on. So here's the format that we're going to follow. Just let me demo really quick, and then we'll go into it together. So move number one is kettlebell swing. Your rep count is going to be anywhere from five to eight reps. All right, so I get those in. You immediately go down on the ground and you have an option of a plank shoulder tap or a plank up down, three on each side. So you can go here, three on each side, or up down, three on each side. And then you'll stand up, you'll grab the bicep curl dumbbells, and you'll do bicep curl. All right, so we have kettlebell swing to a plank shoulder tap or up down to a bicep curl. And we work through this on my timing convention for one minute, and then I'll start us again. All right, so we'll kettlebell swing, five to eight, sh uh, shoulder tap up, down, three, and then bicep, five to eight. Okay, I'll keep you updated on time so you can adjust. So everyone with me, get your, kettle, your dumbbell or kettlebell ready. Three, two, one, let's start them. We're doing five rounds, so it's a five minute 
Iman. I'm going to try to work eight there. Five to eight, three on the shoulder tap or up down. Three on each. And five to eight on the bicep curl. We're up 25 seconds. 25 seconds. If you finish before me, put your weight down and be ready to go. Out in position for the swing. All right, I got eight. Let's go back here on time. I got 15 seconds left. You're still going up a little bit shorter, and this is where you can adjust your reps. Okay, I was able to get that done in about 45 seconds. Get in place. And now it's the same pattern here. Kettlebell swing, dumbbell swing, ready. Go, round two, Iman. Shoulder taps are up, down to three. Up those shoulder taps this time. Those will be a little bit quicker than the up down. We're at 25 seconds, bicep curl. And there's my eight. We'll put them down. And pretty consistent with last time, 44 seconds. Three more rounds, everybody. Round one or two of the warm up. This is where it gets really tough. You got to grind through it, maintain that pace. Get yourself geared up and ready to go. Ready? Go, swing. Up, down, tap, three. Brace that core. Grind through them. Curl all five to eight. 30 seconds. Sweat's really starting now. It's picking up, right? So we're right where we need to be at. Biceps are burning in this last rep. 47 seconds. Okay, you can do this. Two more rounds. Ready, go. Promise we'll get a good break after this. Thirty seconds. And set it down. Forty five seconds. I did shoulder tap that time. It makes it a little bit quicker. You can choose, go all out of this last round. Get everything ready. Three. Two, one, final Iman today. Strong hips, squeeze the glutes on the swing. And some strong arms to finish it off. You're almost there. Five to eight curls, then put them down and take a break. And good. There it is. That's a lot of work in five minutes. High volume. Get that focus on form. All right, now here's where it gets more fun. We did two rounds of our first block, and we're coming back through those. We're going to mix and match them here, those eight moves that we've done so far, okay? So 
I want to keep the heart rate elevated throughout this quick transitions. And just again, that focus on form. I was a little tiny on everything. All right, and so here's our first combo that really didn't increase the intensity. You're gonna go straight from your push-up that we did in round two, right into the mountain climbers that we did in block number, or I'm sorry, push-up round block one, mountain climbers, block two. We're going straight into it. So you're essentially working here 30 seconds in a plank position. If you hit fatigue at any point, just challenge yourself, stay up on your knees, do something, do not give up until I tell you we're done with our back to back. Push ups first in three, two, one, go. Now don't even worry about the mountain climbers that are to come. Keep on going, pump out the push ups. 10 seconds. Modify where you need to. And stop, go right into mountain climbers. Hold the plank higher low if you need to, don't give up. You can do this. You're here to get better. These last 10 minutes that make a difference. Fifteen seconds. Pump up a little quicker. Push up through those hands. Three, two, one. All right. Whew. Not easy. Cardio. Upper body is probably torched a little bit. So the good news is now we go into legs. We don't have to worry about it. Okay. Our legs here are going to stay the same as what we did in block one. Seat skater to a reverse lunge. Ready? Go. I'm tacking a little bit more. Past the halfway point of these. Three. Two, one, our reverse lunge was in the rack position. Either increase the weight on that or grab two dumbbells and bring them up to the uh, rack position. I'll hold two up on my shoulders. Step back with one leg, go. Which legs? Three, two, one. Wow, even my shoulders are on fire. I'm gonna push up a mountain fire. So we transition back to upper body. We'll be dead bug skull crusher into our core hold and raise. Okay, so choose your weight for the skull crusher. Maybe heavier, maybe the same. Core hold and range should still be relatively light. 30 seconds of each. Ready? Go. Keep those elbows pointing forward. Focus on that back of the arm. We'll be bending and extending at the elbow. No shoulder movement. Three, two, one, give it up. Light dumbbells in place for a core hold and raise. Set, go. I'll focus in on it. Battle through the fatigue. Which sides? You can do it. Three, two, one. All right, here we go. Move seven and eight back into legs. And it's going to be our heavy deadlift, heaviest deadlift you can give me. 
with good form, of course. And then directly into our mini band for three way band caps. All right, you in position. Ready? Go, deadlift. I'll remember a single leg here so you guys switch halfway through. You're still doing that version. Keep those dumbbells close to your body. Squeeze your glutes as you stand up, strong and tall. You can do it. Stay focused, single leg or switch. Shoulders back, flat back, strong core. Squeeze them, glutes all the way through. Three, two, one. Getting that mini band for me. Three way band taps. All right, ready, go. Couple more on this side. Three, two, one. Quarter squat, right to the other side. Three, two, one. Step out of there. Okay, quick sip of water. We're going to finish today with a wall sit hold and then two side planks. Okay, so two holds to finish. Uh, my rule on the wall sit is I want you to be as far back against the wall as you can. So no leaning over, hands off of your legs, unless you're absolutely sliding down that wall. That's the only thing to stop yourself. Okay, so let's get in position for this. One minute, ready? Go, down to a seated position. Head back, shoulders back, arms at the side. And just grip the ground with my feet. Keep the hips and glutes on. Halfway. You can do this, block it out. Okay, you're here for a reason. You can reach that goal together. Let's get there. 10 seconds. Three, two, one, drop it down onto the ground. Side plank, I prefer that you're gonna be down on your elbow. If you need to modify, you wanna go up on your hand, that's okay. Our modifiers on our side plank are number one, doing it off your knees. And then number two, you can stagger the feet and lift off there. All right, so everyone, nice and open, straight line. Side one, go. 20 seconds. My hips are up. I'm as straight as can be from my feet all the way up to my neck. Three, two, one. Bring it down over to the other side. And let's go, bring it up. Last move today. Ten seconds. You can do it. Hold on. Three, two, one, down. I want to hit a quick child's pose. Get in a nice stretch throughout the upper body, open up that chest, hands out the front, press it down, really press, challenge that range of motion, deep breathing, and stop, go ahead and come up. All right, man. great first class, everybody. Thanks for joining me for Strength and Sculpt. I appreciate it. Have a good Thursday. Enjoy the rest of your week and your weekend. Take care.